There we go, big man. Touch Take a wee date. Take a wee date in the tune. The blue tune. Here, do you want your jacket in the boot? No, I'm alright, driver. <laughs> yeah, we are slaving. He's going away again, mate. Is he? Oh, there he is, there. Oh, oh yes, lad, wait, yeah. lad. wait a minute, lad! Yes, Paul! Did you get room for one there? Of course we here, mate. Yeah! <laughs> Where did you get out? Oh, I'm going to my gun to the blue tin! Come on! <laughs> you have beauty! Here we go, oh, here, here we go, go, here we go! go. Here we go, <laughs> here we go! Where's <laughs> he driver? Oh! <laughs> right, boys, that's us ready to start the journey to Peter Hill! Let's go. Cool. Wait a minute to give this to Andy because it's the first time he's ever got to touch it. Oh, oh no, big man, this is my year, I'm telling you. I think so. Jambo's a win this think, year. I think we've got a chance, huh? We have got a chance, we've got a big chance, mate. Need to pick up the form a wee bit. I but, know. But it's all about getting through to the next round and obviously Saturday. That but it's the big there, one tonight, the boys. Yeah, but listen, lads, we're here for one reason and one reason only. The open goal boys are going up the day to Peterhead. Peterhead against Dundee. No. Whoever wins it are into the quarter-final, lads, can Simon Ferry and Jimmy Max Peter he'd do it? Andy, we think? I, th I think they can, but there's not been any shocks this round yet, Paul. I think that's, was that seven mm, of the, the eight I, teams already for the SPL point. teams? But we, you've always got a shock in a round. I agree. So, there's still scope there for, for signing the boys to do it. Don't get me wrong, it'll be tough. I think Dundee have obviously picked up a bit, a bit of form over the last couple of weeks, especially beating us at Tincastle last week, so it's going to be dif difficult for Peter Heed, but... Fingers crossed, I've got to be honest, I really, really hope it's there. There's nothing worse when you get stuck with an idiot It's constantly carrying on, winding you up. Is there anyone that comes to mind? I remember when I was a, a youth team player at Sunderland, I was only there maybe a few weeks, right? And my first away trip with the youth team was Arsenal away, doing it in, I think it was the London Colony or something. Hold his cave, look, eight to the left, Celtic Park, look. Mm. Wow, <laughs> what a stadium. <laughs> Paradise, anyway, Kevin, on Aye, so we played Arsenal away and I remember falling asleep. And one of the youth team players, Matthew Pitt, I was lying sleeping and obviously the, when my mouth being wide open, man, he stuck a banana in my mouth. So it wasn't a great. <laughs> so there was a few characters back in the youth team days that liked to wind things up, but there was always there was always the card school at the back. I was always part of the card school. Um, some buses were better than others. Some of them, we had a great bus. You must have had some good buses with, with Rangers, Andy, or Middlesbrough. Mate, the best was Levy. Levy? Aye, Levy, right. So we used to get the mini every 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 Tuesday, Thursday night, Paul, right, for training. We used to get the mini bus up. Yeah. And you used to collect all the boys for Glasgow Green. So it was like me, Snoddy, Chris Malone, David Sinclair, Scott Walker, Dorns. We'd all get on this mini bus and we used to bam the life a poor driver, honestly. Snoddy would always come, right? So we'd we'd be bringing boots and shinies and that. Snoddy would come with an orange traffic cone, right? And as soon as the bus as soon as the bus driver started going, traffic cone out the window, slaughter the fall at Glasgow. And then see have you ever seen the thing where when you're driving and you play that it's like a so now sometimes if your motor's got something wrong with it, it plays like a sort of long like zzz. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye. We used to play that for your phone, right? That's not him saying that. He's never drove in his life. I know, I know. <laughs> How many times you failed your test by? Five. Five times. I look at my we'll camera get to man. Look, Andy, I'm a cameraman now. I know. Daniel Farthke in the back here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to your tests, but I we used to play like, the, the, the sound for YouTube and kidding on them's a breakdown and just have every single day we would fail, the driver would be stopping in the other shoulder, I think he's breaking down. But he just used to bam up for fun. So. I was just thinking there as well, boys. We, we're going to all be there tonight, right? And obviously, size on the touchline. The Dundee fans are going to be there now. There was a big, uh, we obviously spoke about Cummins going to the Hydro. How do you think they'll react to us being there? They're Will we get great. a bad reception? Nah, they're them? probably grateful that we managed to get Jason Cummins <laughs> at the <their> club. <laughs> 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 to be honest, we got him half the wage bill, but fair play to come dog. He's out of Australia and he's flying, so. Um, nah, obviously there's history there with Dundee and Simon, because Simon obviously said that it wasn't one of his uh, better times in football with Dundee. I think he said that many a time on the podcast, so... He's got a few mates there, what do you call me, uh, Geyser? Aye. So, it's not about mates tonight, it's about getting a result, and I think, obviously, if Simon, uh, Simon's team turn up, then... I'm looking for. I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually buzzing. The last time I went to Peter Heed I'm looking for was a it. really bad experience. I'm looking for it. I need See, to, but, do you know what I need to find, by the way? I, I'm not joking, I need to find a barber's when we get up here. How how can how was a barber got to do with somebody in the hair? No, but I've, my side ears are longer than the top of my hair, so I'm gonna to need to find a barber. Nah, you're alright, mate. We'll get you a wee bonnet. As a as a player, the now Andy, you've obviously been to a Scottish Cup final. But you're also a fan, and I'm pretty sure before football you would have went and watched 
your team Rangers in some finals. What what kind of memory sticks out for you, either as a player or as a fan? So see see a memory that sticks out for me, right? Do you just remember when Rangers played Aberdeen in the Scottish Cup final and was it Jim Leighton that came off injured after his about ten get, minutes? And aye. Robbie Robbie Winters went in goals. That's right, aye. I think that's my earliest Scottish earliest Cup memory. memory. But I think the one that probably stands out the most is obviously the, the Scottish Cup final where Lovencan scores a, a diving aye, in the last minute. Because that's last minute stuff. That must be everybody's dream aye. to score a last minute winner I in know. a Scottish Cup final. That would be that that would be there's not many people get to do that because of it's, it's just it is what it is but Loving Kranz he became a hero that day didn't he aye didn't he have? great and finish I've got, listen I've got to I've got to mention old Jambos when they beat Gretna oh. in penalties were you not part of that team that no, year that was long before me but oh, was it? even the, go back to the Jambos the Jambos beating our rivals 5-1 aye. on the, the the 2012 cup final that was incredible because obviously a derby you're thinking it's going to be tight but Hearts absolutely steamrolled Hibs Rudy Scatchel scored, I think he scored a double, Geyser bar, down bar, it was uh, it was all happening in uh, Hibs to be fair to the man, crumbled, folded like a deck of cards. Uh, Every one of the players are in forever club, oh, club legend status now that's as well. it. Like, even like, I was at a, a, a do last week and Craig Beatty was up and obviously he'd scored in the semi-final of the Pilton, the emphasis the moment he took his tap off and showed his man boobs. Uh, and the full crowd were sick weren't they? They couldn't <laughs> believe they'd seen a sheep with tits. <laughs> <laughs> Laz, um, just a bit update for the, the people watching. How long are we a, away for, from Peterhead? We're well, two think, hours fifty-five. I just uh, come on all. I think Kev actually yeah. re read that wrong, Paul. We're eight hours forty minutes away from Peterhead because it's <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, end yeah, of yeah, hundred and seventy it's miles. It's going to be absolutely freezing up here, isn't it? I know. Could we have stopped off at Thurzo now? No. Is that, is that the way? Is, is that, that way? Is that no, must be further. No, Thurzo's further north because when Gary McKay Stephen said it was near John O'Groats, well, John O'Groats is a the top end of Scotland. That's right, he said, it, he said it's five and a half hours, didn't he? So it must be, oh, yeah, wow. it must be. Andrew. Yes, Paul. You played in two Scottish Cup finals, one in normal circumstances and the other behind closed doors. How different was the build up between them, sir? Can we see the trophy? I think the bit, please? Aye, on you go. Good. How, how, <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know I've got to hold on to the steel and, wheel, but you're holding it up, man. Andy, get it out of Andy, show the public. Come on, show the, show the holding, drivers. I'm holding Paul McGinn's he he'd look. <laughs> <laughs> get, uh, get it in the windy. No, I can't get it out of the windy. I can't. No, I can't. Can. No, I can't. Show us that gear stick of yours. I can't even believe How's that. How's that greasy? The, the SFE have left me in the taxi with the Scottish Cup. I know. What is going on? We could pure make that disappear like the 66 World Cup. No half. Ah, uh, we could make it disappear. I don't, I don't know I exactly where we could make it disappear. Sorry, I see your question, Paul, before we go off track for you. Not at all. Sorry for interrupting you. I think the build-up was the same. Yeah. The build-up was obviously very much the same because it's the last game of the, the calendar year for Scottish football. Uh, obviously, it's an honour to still play in it, but to be playing playing it behind closed doors, man, I mean, definitely didn't have it anywhere near the same feel on the sort of build-up of the day when you're driving up to the stadium and obviously there's punters all over the place and, and then walking out to the warm-up, there's already maybe a quarter to half a stadium full and then obviously the atmosphere before the game that's what you want to be a football player for they're playing obviously you, games like that and atmospheres like that do you think that obviously you've experienced that when they crowd how do you think St Johnson feel having done it twice and won it and won it and nobody able to know. celebrate with your fans because you they couldn't even go back to like a, like a function with fans there they couldn't have done because of the, the Covid restrictions at that time I definitely think it'll be bittersweet but I mean for them they're arguably the greatest team in St John's history. Just no, they, for what no, they've they, done last they, year. They, they, over, and, they, well, they are, aye. So I think that, I mean, that's got to override any any sort of disappointment they've got knowing being able to play in front of fans. But listen, we're just grateful that this year's not going to have that issue and we're going to be playing in front of a, a full house. But the two cup final was obviously, goes without saying, when you lose a cup final, it's obviously. The lowest of the low. Is it, uh, is it the worst feeling? Is it the worst feeling in that? Oh, happens? aye, hundred percent. In terms of feelings you've had in football, would that be right up there? Hundred percent, hundred percent. I don't think there's any doubt about that. But I think both games as well being so close. Both teams obviously playing uh, playing you well. You nervous? The day, the was, game. What, what about the emotions of the day? Like, did you sleep the night before? Did you? Were you just buzzing for it? Or I, were felt, you? I felt all right. Aye, I think it's. I think it's like any big game. If you've not got nerves, there's something wrong with you. Aye. Because if, I think if you've got nerves and you've got that that butterflies in your stomach. You know it means so much to you, and then you just want the game to get started. But when the game starts, you're fine. Uh, obviously, the first one, 
to be, I mean, you're t- like, I'm talking about every boy growing up, they want to be that one that scores the winning goal, and yeah. if it's the last minute, whatever, in a Scottish Cup final, obviously the first one, I'm 10 minutes away from scoring the winning goal in a Scottish Cup wow. final. Hibs obviously come back and win, and I've said it so many times before, that Hibs team at that time were, were, were a good team, so it was certainly no, no given for us going into it that we are going to win it, but that obviously been a massive disappointment. Then the second one, or two penalties away from winning it, I can't actually remember who missed for, for Celtic in the shootout, but somebody missed for Celtic in the shootout, I think it was the third penalty, and we basically had to score our next two to obviously win the Scottish Cup. But the way I see it is, boys, you always got to think positive, getting closer. Well, so I think this year's the year, year. Paul. Oh! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing all right? You feeling Hi. confident? Can't wait, mate. I feel confident. I've done a few behind this morning, boys. are looking good. So, it's even you're walking about the hotel when you're looking about the players' eyes. Can you see the fire in their eyes and their belly? No, mate, it's not about fire. The boys are relaxed. Well said. I just want to see that confidence that they're going to be brave enough to get on the boat. We've done a wee bit today. I think we'll be fine, mate. Look Brilliant. at the boys saying this morning, I think we'll be fine. By the way, can I see what Kev's got on driving? Oh, aye. Has he got the jeans on? He's ready the for the sports scene. He's got... I'm doing sports scenes, so I've got to be. Uh... This smart cash. He's back to the next boxers. Aye. He's back to the next boxers, I know. <laughs> no, I've got. Oh, I've got tell me you've no one in No, no. Game, Calvin man. Klein's, you never know what's happening up in Peter Head tonight. How's your questions been on, uh, on the way up? Absolutely brutal, mate. Aye. What's your happened, one? <laughs> what was your answer, uh, how have you changed in the last five years? How have you changed? Lost in the last way more hair. <laughs> 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 big Kev, big Kev sent his Valentine's card to Greg's this morning. What's happening, boys? What's happening, sugar? Who's that? Here's off camera, just right. broke. Who the fuck Sorry, was that? Right. <laughs> Who's that? Is that Ravy Davy? Who is that? Who is that? Decent looking boy, that, isn't he? That's the goalkeeper, Kev. Is it? He's real inside. <laughs> right, mate, all the best for the night, right? Don't appear heat. Have a good one, mate. Go on, Sam! Yes! yes! If Peter Head were to get something, I think that Dundee, the manager James McPay, and everyone else are under huge pressure. I tell you what, I'd love to know the last time Peter Head got the well, first they got the finals if they if if they win the night if they've ever. If they've ever got to the quarter final, when was the last time they've done it? It must have been a while. Kev, I yes. never knew your missus was doing a wee piece in this magazine, is it? Is it, aye? <laughs> What's it say? What's the headline? I sleep with other women's husbands and I don't feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just say that? He, he, he asked me, he asked oh. me if I lay no a pound or two pounds at the service station to go and get, uh, to go and get some paracetamol because his head was killing him. He's only come back with half a shop, so I hate to see what my debit card was debited with. What is the update on time? Uh, well, oh, Six and a half hours to go, mate. We've we got 134 miles to go. That's not bad. Yeah, by the way, I was saying here that I played 180... Minutes? 180 minutes in the Scottish Scottish Cup. And I've got, I received a yellow card for air. Was it is that, that tackle? No. Have you ever seen no, that, that video? No, I was a card, aye. I can't remember oh. that tie at all. I'm going to look that up. So for the end of the journey, we'll get that up here. And it says I played 28 minutes in the cup for Fissel. Where you got it? Fuck. You must have played a Scottish Cup time, mate. Do you think, see, see the shout that people say, the cup's, the cup's different, not you get a different feeling. Do you agree with that? Aye, I generally do. Aye, I would agree with that. Because I think, I think for teams, I think form goes out the window when it comes to the cup. I don't think form takes a play because you're sort of like your league worries and that's out the window for this game and it's all about trying to get to the next round whether it's a smaller team for financial yep. benefit or obviously the bigger teams that want to go on and try and win the competition so that's what mate that's why there's always shocks in cup competitions here we go right so right just, Chris Tarrant maybe one of us can start asking questions this will be my last sake. this will be my last one right? <laughs> this is your last journey this is my last this is my, this is my favourite one most iconic moments in Scottish Cup history I'll give you one to start do you remember Kieran Tierney broke his jaw and then came back, went to the hospital, came back and, and lifted the trophy? So uh, I don't know if that'll Aberdeen. be beaten. Aye, Aberdeen. I don't know if that'll be beaten, by the way. Ah, uh, I think I might have one, Paul. Do you? Neil McCann cross it in for the left and <laughs> Peter Lovencran diving heater in the last minute. They went 3-2, I think that just edges it. But that, to come back for that and actually go and lift the trophy was, was something special. See, talk about an iconic moment though. Remember when Kinchelska stood on the ball against Air United? Yep. The Scottish Cup final? Aye, I remember that. What would make you do that? 
See, you knew I didn't. I, I thought that moment was genius, but n- up until now, you've said they played done it against there. Ah, but they <laughs> mate, they went on to score though. Ah, that's right. He stood on the ball, did the old salute, took on the fullback, cut it across, and and here now we should do. Now we should do the night. See when we get to the game, we should go up to try to get a Peter Hugh player to start on to tell me that. Aye, I'd be brilliant at that. Do you think we should, Kev? <laughs> I don't think you'll do it. But, boys, it's a question I'd love to ask the two of you. What's your favourite ever Scottish Cup game that you've played in? Even though, Paul, you've just told me you've only played 180 minutes in the Scottish Cup. Well, it's actually a strange one. So I've got, I don't think you'd have imagined my answer's going to be one or the other game, one or two teams, but mine was actually went to a replay, Andy. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> And we get knocked out with Alaba. So that was your favourite getting knocked out with Alaba? My favourite was getting knocked out with Alaba, and my worst was getting knocked out with Alaba. <laughs> we, do the, we do the first game, uh, we do the first game, nothing each or one each, and then we went there midweek and get knocked out at their place. Um, a massive cup upset, you know what I mean? LV Alaba. Uh, but that's really all I could really give you. That's and horrible, that, that, but let's talk about what the people actually want to know. It's Valentine's Day, boys. Oof. I don't do Valentine's Day. Talk me through your morning, Slaney. Mish? I took nothing to do with it. I, I never did. You're day. in Mish. You, you, you're obviously heavy petted, Andy, right? Obviously, on the wee bit under the thumb and stuff, uh, be a good lady, <laughs> right? Oh! So you obviously uh, went under massive pressure today to produce a, a, a performance, first and foremost, and secondly, a gift that would have blew any other gift out the water. No, not at all. No? No. We... we um, had a wee overnight stay in Cameron House last night. Oh, nice. Lovely, aye. Swimming for house. some cheating that. Really nice, actually, aye. It was, it was lovely. Aye. Kev, what about you? Was that it, big much? Beautiful. Kev, what about you? What gift did you get? I mean, flowers or chocolates? Aye, some flowers. Decent. Me and Slaney, I Sorry, Kev, just before I go to you, Andy, obviously you're away in a hotel and obviously you go for good dinner for dinner and all that, you may go for a wee swim, but usually when you come back to the room, was it, you, you dress up in that? Was there any of that? No, I didn't dress up. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You seem if you went a wee bit awkward and quiet. Oh, I'm, too old. I'm too old for that, carry on now. I'll mean. tell you one guy, it's not too old for it, but just big boy. No, no. definitely not. I obviously, the wife's away for the weekend. Oh! So <laughs> I've been home alone. Uh, but we don't do Valentine's because I always. Direct sales in the taxi, you big dog. I always feel like. <laughs> you did your Valentine's last night, didn't you? It's a, waste of, it's a waste of money when you're married. But she did send me a wee link to a to a couple of nights stay at a the Lost Side Hotel down in Ayrshire. Oh, so that's, that's amazing, apparently lovely. Really that. nice. So I think we're looking to tie that in with a with a, a weekend down in Do you know worry about that though, Kevin? I don't like to see it because I don't especially when the camera's there, do you know worry that the timing's a bit off that she's away for a couple of days, especially at this time of well, year. Well, and unless, that magazine's just out today. <laughs> unless I'm uh, <laughs> <laughs> Unless we, it's funny you should say that because she sent me a message your last day there saying, Kevin, you go to the shop, get some toilet roll, uh, toilet roll, uh, what was the other thing? Black bin liners and condoms. And I was like, what? How many do you want? She went, 12. I went, no, toilet rolls. And 12? It's, and it's funny you say that that magazine was just today. <laughs> this morning as well. <laughs> what is your most romantic Valentine's Day you've had? One you look back and go, do you know what? I'd love to recapture that moment. Travelling up with you is free bams to peer heat. I know, this is the, <laughs> this is, stick out this for is the next 20 year. The greatest Valentine's Day gift I ever got. So, so Sitting I'm, in my Uber with Slaney in the back with the Scottish Cup and Andy beside me. Brilliant. Andy, was, uh, was the missus angry that you were going away today? Not at all, mate. It's like Kev says, this, that was a uh, seventh. I think aye, me and Jelly's seventh anniversary together. Uh, Valentine's together, sorry. So it's uh and to be honest, Paul, I'm not I'm definitely not the most romantic. No, you're not. Uh, but she she's she realises it's a opportunity to go with the boys and continue the work. Day, yeah, exactly. I mean there's some things you've got to be. I feel Ken's right, holding back actually, no, I feel I he's had no, many good Valentine's no, Days. I've had many, many good Valentine's Days. <laughs> But the one, one that captures my memory is Kevin, sorry, and you can go and yours, but one that captures me, and I remember you told us about you dressed up as Batman and running. That's right. That's right. You remember that? I know. That and obviously, we used to. Uh, that was a builder. We used to watch, but the other movies, and Lynn loved Christian Bale as Batman. Yeah. And she said to me, "I'd love it if you dressed up as Batman one night." <laughs> and I went, "No way." So I came in one night and had to put on the pure dark husky voice. All right. Did you actually this as Batman? Right. For all the time? Keep on and all. Keep on. No, 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 no. 
That is unbelievable. That's tremendous. That. Uh, but, so, but what was the man that caught, captured you? Because you're about to say it. That's funny because you did something as a penguin once. <laughs> 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 we were <warling. laughs> Oh, boys. More breaking news, boys. You still doing the draw? Yeah! <laughs> the open goal what is a quarter final draw. What have sports team let themselves into, Kevin? They've let themselves down, that's what they've done. <laughs> no, you know what? Don't fault it. no, I can't even. Do you know what the thing is? I can't concentrate this game, mate. Like, I get the big licks all the time, say if I went on sports scene, I would tear the place up and they would want me forever, but I can't concentrate in the game anymore because of this draw after it. Because the one thing I've got, and which is good on me on open goal, is that. I, I've got really shaky horns. <laughs> Tell the way I'm in it. I, I, but it's the, the, the fingers now. So when I hold that ball up, the, the whole nation's going to see my horns shaking. If the high goes in to go by, you might shave your head. <laughs> live, live, live on BBC. You can see the maybe to shave my hair. <laughs> we've, got, now, we've not got a lot of worry about Slaney. Rod Stewart made an arse, so, so we're fine. I know what He's I made an arse for years, mate. Don't worry about it. But the only thing Rod Stewart says is it went viral, didn't it? I, I did, I did. So that maybe, was funny. We talk, maybe we should try and shave the hair. Do you need to put a pair of socks in your trousers tonight or what? Hopefully I'm blocked with that. Hopefully the table's blocking that. <laughs> Bring it on boys, can't I for Superb. us? Superb. Yeah! What a boy you made it! By the way, what the stuff we'll get up to there, Andy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah! Just smell that big kid. Say, get my bags back while you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. Let's <laughs> 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 go. Let's 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 that. It's hard to get your fingers in that position in it sometimes. I'm Number four. Beautiful, I like the hand to hand. Like that? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, two. Welcome along to the draw for the quarterfinals of the Scottish Cup. Alongside me to make the draw is podcaster extraordinaire, Paul Slane. I was going to say it like that. Well, let's not make a joke. Uh, how you doing? I'm really nervous to be honest, but the thing that's get me through is the family are all back here supporting me, Connie. But this is not about me tonight, it's about... Can I just see the So, this is team number four, Connie will see so and so. One second. So, no, so we'll so make we'll up do <laughs> Dreams are made, aren't it? <laughs> Guys, I don't want you to be alarmed. It was a wild fraud in the woods. He's big, he's horny, and he's scary. Look at him, boy, it's frightful. <laughs> right, Paul, we're deep behind enemy lines. Yeah. And a guy that thought Sean Rooney was a striker for two years is the MBBC tonight. Look at him. Look at him up there. He's three pies, dude. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> How is he ended up there by the way? I don't know, but remember this is the best pundit in it. <laughs> and they're just there, uh, just yeah. to, we're, we're going to get kicked out here in a minute because we're not meant to be here. But just there as you can see is the boys all warming up. Repeated me boys. This is a 
ready for this, are ready to go. I can feel that fight in them now, can you? The energy in here is absolutely beautiful. I mean, love is in there. Aye. Literally, because it's Valentine's Day and the place is absolutely bouncing. He's bringing it, he's bringing it down. <laughs> absolutely. He's you, sucking it right yeah, there. I believe it. But what about him in that journey? Forty, aren't they? What about him in that, that car journey? Then? I just found it so weird that a taxi stunk a tuna before we up. <laughs> How you doing boys, alright? Aye, aye, not bad, you. What do you think of the night? Do you think that we're going to either going to go through the next round, you think so? Mir miracle of the cup. What do you think was the score going to be? 2-1. 2-1. What about you, young man? What do you think, sir? 3-1. Yeah, who's going to score? Jason Brown. Jason Brown, Scott Brown and Grand Chief. Yes, he's got a tune for his lads, a Pete and Heap tune. Yeah, Nothing new. No. Are you a good singer at all, no? No, I'm a horrid singer. Come on, Pete and Yes! Come on, Pete and Heap! I'm a horrid singer. Any other songs for the kids? What do you think the score's going to be tonight, sir? Big game, obviously, get through. What a final, is it the first time in Pete Reed's history? Aye. Is it the first time? Would it be in the quarter final? Is this the first time? Aye. <laughs> what a man. I've lost my loon. <laughs> oh, is it? Aye. What a man. By the way, I hope, I hope he's going to date because right, first things first, boys. What's the score going to be in the night? 5-1! Right lads, Andy, I've got an even more important Mikey question, you ready for this Mikey one? Mikey What's your thoughts on Simon Ferry as a player? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Simon Ferry? Oh, no! Oh, yeah. You made the cup! No. 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 So what do you think tonight, are we going to win? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Pizza, 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 Oh, I'll be the one they won the play before the game. Oh, good, oh, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Here we go, come on. Side. What's that score? Any joke with the internet? No nonsense. Is it Arsene Wenger's day call?
Paul, what's your verdict first half? Andy, I can't believe this, but that Peter Heed's actually going in at half time 1 0 down. It's been, it's been on that half of the whole game, been for a start. That shouldn't be a penalty. That should be a penalty. That is an absolute disgrace. I know we love Sam, we love what we have Peter Heed to do today, but what is that decision, mate? I don't even think it's a, that's not even a biased response, I think anyone that's watched it could argue it. I think that uh, Peter Heed were definitely a better team in the first half. For me, I, I think that did look like a penalty the Dundee one, but that is a stonewall penalty. Like, we've got a clear view for where we're sitting and that was a stonewall penalty. In all, in all, in all fairness to Peter Head, I know we had a bit of banter coming up with Sai always saying if he's playing better opposition, will they continue to play the same way? They've done that. They've probably been punished a wee bit by doing that for their first goal, but they're still trying to do it. And like you said, they've been the better the, the two teams in the first half. And then that one, and the boys walked inside the post, rolled along the line. Oh, that was, oh, was devastating. How's that going in? Honestly, devastating. But see, at the end of the day, Sai and, uh, uh, and Jim will be saying at half time, if they give the exact same in the first half, they will have no doubts whatsoever they can score and get back in. I think the joy, Andy, I think the joy is with the wee boy Grant Savory in the middle. In the middle, middle of the park, they can run their legs right half of Dundee. I really do, but. Get in there. If I'm a manager, I don't know what I say to my players after that. After well, I'll tell you decision. what they say. Like the old man behind us will say, Dundee are there for the tucking. Yeah, <laughs> bro, he's been outstanding. Yeah, he he's that been man of the match. I think this is a goal. <coughs> it's gonna, it's gonna hit the bar, hit the keeper, see him go in. Going out, wow. It's gonna be right for him, huh? I thought Connor would take that. Walk him down, see the hits in. I think. He scored that to win. Oh, wait for it. It's a good shot. Oh! Go on. That's no bad. Oh. Oh. They slot the through Brett Long's legs, there's no chance in the goal. But that is, that's the difference when you get close to that club. Oh, Connie, just move your hair back over the mic. Thank you. When it matters, they come up with big moments. Yeah, it was a big moment in the game, wasn't it, Kevin? Because they were creating chances again, feet ahead. Didn't even really look that threatening, but they got the second. You can see it took a bit of 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 a Thank you very much for that Stephen, yes welcome to the draw for the uh, Scottish Cup quarter final. Alongside me to make it is podcast extraordinaire. That was right, wasn't it? Absolutely, it's an absolute honour to be here, Connie, as well. And I'll tell you one thing, I'm an absolute nervous wreck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect anything like. Let me tell you this, right? I was slightly nervous as well because I heard that you were bringing the lovely Scottish Cup up from Glasgow and I'm just pleased to see it's in one piece. How, what happened? Oh my god, you don't believe it, Connie. We sit after Hamden at 10 o'clock this morning. I'm coming down the Hamden steps. Leg goes all jelly. 
The trophy really falls down. I died to save it, but my God, it's still here in one piece. Now, I'm absolutely buzzing, but I must give a big shout out to the family. They're all in the head. They will be cheering, Connie, they know that I'm doing this. So I'm really, really buzzing. <laughs> Is he over that or did you just go out the Someone's buy it, man's buy it, it's That's us boys, about to set up trip on the way home now, how are you feeling Andy? Heartbreaking innit? Aye, honestly I've got to say, proud of Si, ain't me? Proud of Si, proud of Peter Heed. Simon always tells us how well the team's performing on tonight's evidence of a good side by the way. Just on lucky in front of goal, refereeing decision, but how are we going to get down this road tonight? I don't know, because my two <laughs> feet are like ice blocks. I thought Peter Edward were excellent. Um, probably, arguably the better team for the first sort of 60 minutes. We're probably going to be speaking about a decision tomorrow, I'd imagine. It's probably change the complexion of the game. But on the bright or not, guys, it has been a great day, and it's a great work. experience. He's met some lovely trip. people up here. Aye. And Peter Head. Very, 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 the hospitality has been excellent. He won't be back for a long time. Plenty of drink in my draw, weren't he? Aye, listen, and I asked him as well, just make sure you use a home draw and you, you deliver, didn't you, Paul? Absolutely, I was never ever going to let you down with that, but listen, I was shaking like a fucking... I league. thought you were brilliant, mate. Did you? Aye, I brilliant. thought you were very good. Everybody that I was standing with, Faddy, Tomo, the BBC production queue, everybody said, God, he's funny. Good. But that's you, are mate. You're yeah, good. That's what I'm doing, yeah. Put the act on for a couple of and get back in the motor. Aye, right? exactly. <laughs> get the cash in, <laughs> get the cash in. <laughs>